Today's video, we're going to be showing you what a festival looks like in rural Zacatecas. <laughs> This is my first time here for the feria or festival and we'll see what this town uh, has, to, has in store for us. <laughs> we are back in San Lorenzo for the annual feria de San Lorenzo. It's a festival that happens every year on August 10th and it's the time of year where most of our family returns to visit, where really anyone who has family that migrated from this town to the United States a lot of them come back. Everybody comes back. They take advantage um, in terms of visiting family and partying, honestly, yeah. and just being back in, in everybody's hometown. So it's not very far to get to the festival. It's literally from my grandpa's house, which is right behind us. Walk across the garden into the basketball court, and that's where the festival is happening. This is a really small town. If you've seen our previous videos on San Lorenzo, you may remember that this is a town of about a 250 person population not thousand just 250 people give or take a few a lot of people from this town have migrated to parts of the united states like chicago california and among others so it's really really full right now you'll see cars i mean there's no one around but this town is full with people more so in these days in august than any other time of year this is the garden This garden is known for being like the hot spot for dates and for hanging out for young people. Aquí qué? Aquí aquí me la pasaba dando la vuelta. ¿Con quién? Con la otra otra, con mis otras amigas y mi hermana, mi hermana. Ajá. Yo tenía 13, 14 años. ¿Con los novios no te paseabas por el jardín? No, porque no nos dejaban. ¿Cómo cómo que no las dejaban? No. Entonces, ¿cómo tuviste Todo me pues por eso me escapé. Por eso me fui y me escapé porque no me dejaban. Y, y la feria de San Lorenzo, pues, ¿vienes desde niña? Sí, desde, desde que yo me acuerdo. Es tradición. ¿Y cómo ha, ha cambiado o cómo ha sido desde entonces? ¿Cómo? O sea, ¿cómo era la feria cuando eras niña o no ha cambiado nada? No ha cambiado nada. ¿Nada? No, sigo igual todo. ¿Los puestos? Bueno, sí ha cambiado porque antes traían el volantín y ahora no lo veo. ¿Qué es un volantín? Donde se subían los niños a pasear. Algo que da vuelta con caballitos y figuritas para que se suban los niños. Oh, como un carrusel. Uh, sí. Like the carrusel. merry go round. Sí. Okay. ¡Luna! ¡Hola! ¡Hola! ¡Saluda al mundo! <risa> ¿Cómo estás, prima? Bien. Bien. ¿Y qué tal la feria? A ver, cuéntanos. No, pues bien. Pues, está chido. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? ¿Jugar? Uh, no sé, hay trambolines, pizza, pan. Um, Mucha comida. Dulce. ¿Va a haber baile? Sí. Sí, a wee -wee. En la noche. A wee -wee. <ríe> And here's the cancha. La cancha is just Spanish for basketball court. This is literally the epicenter of the festival. There's so many memories playing here as a kid with my cousins, with other random kids. It's such a nice thing. Now it's nice to see other kids playing. Y'all remember my gorgeous sister, right? Emily. Right here. Hi. Hey, you know, it's nice to hang out. We rarely get to do things as a family anymore because we're always in different places. So we're all here now. It's super fun. Mama? You can see. Sick little sister. And a baby sister. Hi. 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 Okay, I have a confession to make. I have the world's most gorgeous nieces. Yeah, ya se chivieron. Look at how cute they are. This is Vane. This is Jalen. They are my oldest brother's daughters, and yeah, we're pretty much all the same age. Do we look alike? Oh, who's older? Guess who's older? Comment down below. Who's the oldest? Who's the second? Who's youngest? We pretty much. It's not. It's not the order you think it is. But we pretty much grew up as sisters, and so I love these girls with all my heart. Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One of the coolest things about these events is that I'm constantly meeting new family members. 
I just met one of my mom's cousins who I call Leo. His name's Eliseo Regosa and he's from my mom's my grandma's side. Gracias, Luna. You disappeared. Now I know where you went. You know, yeah. It's really dry out here. <laughs> it's good. You get thirsty out here. It's a little thirsty. Not too much. What does it feel like to be back where you were born? It's live? No, it's not live. Just, what does it feel like? You were born here, weren't you? What does it feel like to be back? Guys, the chivel. What about you? You, and I like it. I, I drink a lot more Coca-Cola here than I do in the States. So it's like an automatic... Uh, like code switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. You but see, it's good. You become a kind of Coca-Cola drinker. Yeah, I, I put on my boots and I get, get them dirty. What else I do? I, I take naps and play with the dog. I'm my Dio Mario. Yeah, just resting. Enjoying my break. Good for you. Good for you. Do you like being told how much you look like my grandma? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. I would love that too if I were you. The eyes. I know. I'm so jealous. Point to the eyes. She has my grandma's eyes. I'm a little jealous, but. The main purpose for this festival, La Feria de San Lorenzo, is to honor the patron saint, Saint Lawrence or San Lorenzo. So what they do is on August 10th of every year, they bring him, they do a peregrinación or a pilgrimage from the neighboring town over here. We didn't get to see the pilgrimage ourselves, but I did get some video from my sister. Here, they've just entered San Lorenzo, and it's my understanding that they began their march and dance in the neighboring community of Majadas, a few kilometers north. They bring the saints, they honor the saints, and they have these traditional dances to help scare away the evil spirits as they honor the patron saint to help para cuidar el pueblo, right? To take care of the people in the community. So that's what we the music that we're hearing now. It's a violin music. It looks like a very indigenous dance but you can tell that there are a mix of cultures in the way that they dress and the kind of dancing that they do they're wearing Virgen de Guadalupe style like imagery they're colorful they're wearing conchas which are like shells to make certain noise and the moves are very indigenous I've asked several people around here what the dance represents um, not many people know so what we're guessing right now is that it's to scare away the evil spirits because they have in addition to the dance Dancers, one person wearing a scary demon mask. Um, so they've been doing this all day and they've do, been doing this for days leading up to the, the day of the main event, which is today, and they've been dancing all day. I'm so impressed. Let's go check them out. I decided to do a little more research to learn more about their origin. The dancers are called Matachines, and I found contradicting claims in their origin. One source says their origin is from Spain as a European carnival dance dating as far back as the 15th century, claiming its introduction can be attributed to the Catholic missionary groups. But multiple other sources talk about it having pre-Hispanic and indigenous roots coming from the practice of dancing to honor one's gods as the natives of Mesoamerica have done for centuries prior to the arrival of the Spanish. La Danza de los Matachines is the most widespread religious dance in Mexico among indigenous groups in the north central part of the country, especially in the Tarahumara region. The Matachines are accompanied only by a violin, although the rhythmic role of the instruments incorporated into the dancers' costumes is also important. It's not a festival without food, and actually the street vendors that come during the festival are another exciting tradition because this town is too small to have regular street vendors. They sell traditional Mexican sweets like candied sweet potato and candied cactus. Es camote, calabaza. Este que es? La cayota y biznaga. Biznaga. Estaba en extinción casi la figura. Todo cuesta lo mismo? Sí, ¿verdad? Cheesy. So good. So the festival food? Not. She got tacos, tortas de biste, de adobada, burgers, hot dogs. But if you're gonna get one thing that I recommend, <laughs> yeah. quesadilla. But these quesadillas, bam. Bam. Thank you.
Kids favorite part is the very hazardous fireworks show. Watch with the hair. Carnival games like paintball, double decker trampolines, and even pancakes for dessert until it's time for the headliner. El baile. This genre of music is banda, which is a literal translation for band. It's popular in central northern Mexico, and it's the music I grew up with. It's been a part of my family's identity since I can remember. The dance party is the last event of the festival, but the festival has been going on for days with other events that we actually didn't make it to, like the rodeo and the cabalgata. Quiero concluir este video con un agradecimiento a mi tío Mario, el mayor de mis tíos Dávila Raigosa, por su hospitalidad y cariño. Nos entretuvimos muy contentos con su plática y su nuevo cachorro, Botijas.
Security. Hey, security. Guardian. Thanks for watching, everybody. Se cuidan, se bañan, y nos vemos en la próxima.